Yo, what's up? In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I pushed up to third in the world and I beat a hard counter. I would assume it's a hard counter. I beat this guy. This is my matchup for sure, but he's a very good player. Um, Very, very good player with the 8600 PB. Um, But this is the matchup I'm talking about. I've faced this guy multiple times in the past few days. Uh, He's a pretty good player and... This is his deck right here. So he has cannon card for my E giant. So every time the cannon card dies, it turns into a building, which is annoying. He has rockets where he can cycle at the end because he has two spirits and skeletons. So he can literally cycle those and get back to rocket and log. Like super fast cycle. Arch Queen's just very annoying to deal with. And if the expo locks him screwed. So um Yeah, we're gonna go over it. So Alright. So going in here. Um, I faced him before, so I just go Dark Prince, or I go Cage, because I don't have Dark Prince. So I wait a little bit, go Cage. He goes Cannon Card in the back, so the first thing I'm going to do is just Lightning that. Make sure you do not Lightning the King Tower. That would, that would just be very stupid. So right here, he goes in for Expo, and the game just started. I'm already about to, like, get a ton of damage lost on my tower. Um, but... I was going to NATO the NATO that, but it wouldn't be enough. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to have to go Mother Witch, I guess. I couldn't make up my mind. Um, but yeah. And, I mean, once again, I'm, I'm still a little sick. So if you saw my last video, that's why I sound like this. But So I just go Bomber, then NATO that back. And then once he crosses the bridge, the tower just takes it out. Um, so my, my first game today was, I was at 72.89. That's what I was first placed yesterday. And I go into a match today, face a great red player and beat him. Um, and then I was like in fifth place. So I was like, you know, what? let's go into another one. I face this guy. It's a bad matchup. I thought I'd lose, and I end up uh, clutching up the win. So he literally just uses two spirits and in encounters the Inferno Dragon, which is kind of tough because the Inferno Dragon gets distracted like really easily. So right here, I just go Dark Prince in the back. Obviously, never go e giant in the back. If you go e giant in the back, go back right, um, just so he can't rocket it instead of back left. Um, I try to get some good value there. That was gonna lightning that cannon card, but I was like, we're gonna get zero counter push, and I don't really think it's worth it right now. So right now, I'm just about to just go e giant into the cannon card, um, and I know that I would die. The bomber will clean it up, and then I just go inferno dragon. And right here, I was getting a pretty solid push going on. And for some reason, he decides to go Expo. So I'm like, dude, I'm about to get a lot of damage. He just goes Skeletons on top of that. And he literally just lets me take out his Skeletons and um, Fire Spirit in one hit. So right here, I'm like, I think I should just Lightning both Expos, even though the, the left Expo isn't doing anything, just to get it out the way for later. Instead of just Lightning one thing, because Lightning can um, attack up to three things at once, or up to three things. Um, in its usage, uh, so I go Mother Witch here, and, cause I'm down by so much damage, I can't afford to let a Fire Spear lock on, so he gets a rocket, and all I know right now is he's gonna rocket cycle, and he expects me to go in with E-John on the right, so I go in with E-John on the left, and I know he's gonna go Hunter, so I go bot or I just save up my Lightning, and I Lightning that, um, and then he goes late expo, and then at this point, I'm like, all right, the cannon card locked on the tower, but it has 4,000 health. It's going to get it down to, like, 2,000 or less, but I don't really care about that right now because I'm just pushing it on the left lane. So right here, I was like, I really hope I can just end it here. Um, and then he goes that, and then he goes down with a... He puts down a cannon card, and I try to lightning predict it, and I didn't get it, which I was like, okay, I lost. But Rocket does, like... I don't know how much damage Rocket does because I don't use it. He decides to go with the Expo, which is a really stupid idea. When I place the Ejon on the cannon cart of the bridge, I make sure to place it to the right of the cannon cart. I did that to make sure that the um, the Expo would lock onto it. So if I placed it like all the way to the left, then the Expo would uh, it wouldn't be in the Expo's range, and the Expo would lock onto the tower. So now he's log. He just did a log, and now he's trying to cycle to um, to the uh, rocket or like uh, yeah, rocket. <laughs> So right here, my Mother Witch is getting insane value, and now I'm just going to spam. Um, I went Mother Witch at the bridge because I know he's going to have to defend that. So he goes Skeletons, and he just lets my pigs lock on the tower. Um, 
And then Arya's left the skeleton to lightning block. And I don't even think they can, but... So we took out his tower, we won that game, and then we got third. Pushed up to third in the world right now. So the only people we're losing to currently. And I know it's early season, I'll definitely drop a lot. But right now we're literally like... Um... 73-41. We're literally 302 trophies away from our PV, so... Hopefully we get it this season. I think we will. Last season was our first top 1,000 finish. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, like the video, comment um, to boost it like through the YouTube algorithm. And uh, thank you guys for watching all the way through. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.